All right, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. It's uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So uh, we know that um, uh, you know some of you may be on different time zones. So we appreciate you uh, joining us this Friday for uh, what is part of our Friday webinar series uh, that we do on a weekly basis. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to type those in the box. We do have everyone muted. Um, and also, if you happen to want to see this again, you want to pick up some additional uh, information, uh, you will find this on our YouTube channel, usually posted within just a day or two uh, of the live meeting, uh, which we're doing here. So again, if you happen to want to revisit this or you can't stay for the whole thing, we understand. Uh, you can feel free to check it out on our YouTube channel, or if you go to our website uh, and you go into our training modules, it will be available there as well. So why don't we go ahead and get started? Again, uh, we want to welcome all of you uh, this Friday morning. My name is Jason McClellan with Insurance Advisors Direct. Just to give you a quick uh, overview of Insurance Advisors Direct, uh, we are a full-service field marketing organization. Uh, we are very hands-on with our agents. We spend a lot of time uh, working with our agents uh, on selling systems, marketing campaigns, uh, sales tools, lead generation, uh, really any and everything that it takes to be successful as an agent in this business. And we do specialize on the senior life and health space, but in total, we do cover about 15 product lines across individual and group. Um, and again, full service. So anything that you may need, uh, whatever level of experience you might have, uh, if there's something that we can do for you, uh, that's what we are here for. Uh, myself, I have been in the uh, Medicare insurance industry for 23 years now, started off as an agent and have for many uh, of the last 15 to 20 years uh, worked with independent agents across the country, training and supporting their sales needs when it comes to senior focus life and uh, health products. Again, our sales team, uh, most all of us have spent time in the field selling these products. So whatever product line, uh, whatever carrier you need assistance with, give us a call, talk to one of our advisors. They are experts in those areas. And again, have been in the field selling those products. So they fully understand uh, what your needs are. So again, we appreciate you joining us. And part of today, as you can see, is our Medicare 101. Uh, and this is just part one. So you'll be seeing uh, an invitation in the future to some of our other parts as we break down kind of this big universe of Medicare uh, and helping you to better understand it. As you can see today, we're spending some time on the various parts of Medicare, A, B, C, and D. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, marketing and selling to Medicare. Just touch, maybe scratch the surface of what successful agents are doing out there. We're going to get into some of the coverage types. Um, so a real uh, skimming of the surface of Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, uh, group Medicare, and even PDP programs. And then we're going to talk uh, for a moment about some of our newer sales tools available to our agents. And uh, then we'll give you a little preview of what our next session will be covering. So. Again, we appreciate you joining us. We look forward to the next uh, half an hour or so together uh, covering these topics. And uh, we certainly hope, hope that uh, much of this information is valuable to you and to your sales practice. Now, some of what we're going to cover today, if I can get it to advance, is fairly basic information. Um, so if you're a little more experienced in the Medicare space, you might find some of this uh, again, very simple, but uh, the reason why we do these sessions is because when we work with agents all over the country, we understand everybody has different needs and uh, varying skill levels. Uh, we actually spend a lot of time working with agents that are brand new to either insurance or brand new to the Medicare space that have a background elsewhere uh, because of some of these statistics. So if this is you and you're here for the first time or this is part of your uh, homework to decide whether the Medicare space is right for you. Obviously, you have to do what's best for your business and for your clients, but certainly we'll be sharing some of these numbers to show where those opportunities are. 
And as you can see, and this is pretty basic information that has been around for quite some time, but uh, the current Medicare population is huge and the current Medicare population is growing significantly. As a matter of fact, you can see the numbers and I know we've heard these numbers all uh, uh, many times, but 10,000, 12,000 plus people a day are turning 65 and entering into the Medicare space. Uh, and as you can see, uh, by 2030, that number is expected to grow uh, to over 79 million people. So it's a substantial amount of the population. And no doubt if you have clients, uh, maybe they came to you earlier in their life, but they've now began aging or they have family members are aging. I'm sure you're encountering clients questions or referrals uh, that are getting you into this Medicare conversation. And that's why we're trying to train and educate agents uh, so that they can be equipped, so that they can answer those questions. You know, some agencies we speak with uh, that have diff different backgrounds, whether it be PNC or group, or maybe they're more of a financial planner, uh, they may tell us from time to time that they, on a monthly basis, refer out 20, 30 plus people to an agent down the street that does their Medicare. Now, maybe that's how they want to continue, but what we tend to find is many of them say, hey, wait a minute, this is going to continue and this is going to continue to grow. Maybe I should become more familiar with the Medicare space. Maybe I should get an agent in my office to help us and help our clients with the Medicare uh, portion of their needs. So again, if that's kind of your situation, uh, we hope we can help uh, push you in that direction. And if you need any additional assistance, suggestions on carriers, uh, help running quotes, uh, we certainly can do that for you to point you uh, uh, to the carriers that make the most sense in your area because that's extremely important. And if you have questions on that, we can certainly go into detail with you one-on-one. -on -one. So here we're going to get into the parts of Medicare. Now, uh, it's important to remember that these parts of Medicare, uh, A, B, C, and D, are parts. Uh, you know, some may confuse those with plans. So the plans of Medicare supplements are also labeled with letters A, B, C, D, and, and so on. But we're going to concentrate first here on the parts of Medicare. Now, a couple of the slides or a couple of the pieces you see in front of you, those are actually pieces that are part of one of our simplified Medicare guides. We have an agent version that, of course, can help to train you. Uh, and then we have a consumer version that agents use and will brand to leave behind or to send to their clients or their prospects to help educate them on Medicare. So some of these slides that you'll be seeing with us uh, today actually come from that Medicare guide. And if that's something that you'd be interested in getting your hands on, we'd be happy to talk more about that. If you're a contracted agent with Insurance Advisors Direct, that's certainly something that would be available to you. Uh, and we could also even brand that specifically to you and your agency with your contact information. So again, some of this information we go over today, uh, that is where it is taken from. So let's get into the four parts of Medicare for starters. And this may look familiar to some of you if you've gone into the choosing a Medigap guide. Um, I believe it's been taken out, but in previous versions, I think prior to 2019, there was a page that essentially told individuals, hey, here's the important parts of Medicare and here's what you need to know about it. So uh, we'll use this real briefly just to kind of show uh, what those four parts are. And then we're going to dive into a little more detail about the actual costs uh, contained within these parts. Because again, this is Medicare 101. So if you're new to Medicare, this is uh, important. So as you can see on the left-hand side, you have original parts of Medicare, Medicare Part A, uh, and B, which are important. So we'll go through those. You've got your Part D, which is essentially a prescription drug coverage. And then if you choose to add some additional supplemental coverage, uh, what would be appropriate uh, in this next or in this column would be a Medicare supplement. Uh, now on the right-hand side, we see uh, Part C of Medicare, which is also referred to as Medicare Advantage or MA or MAPD plans, which we're going to get into a little bit later. Uh, as to how those are structured, who those work for, and uh, some of the basics you need to know if you're getting into Medicare Advantage. 
But uh, the two big parts, A and B, you can see part A is hospital insurance and part B is your medical insurance. So to get into these uh, in a little more detail, uh, we can see Medicare Part A hospital insurance covers your inpatient care in hospitals, uh, skilled nursing facility, hospice care, and home health care. Um, now, the one thing to be mindful of, and this is maybe a little bit more in the advanced direction, but we talk about inpatient. So that's admission to the hospital. Uh, and there is a trend of individuals not being admitted, but being kept in observation. So those we can train in some of our advanced courses. Uh, but again, this is for those who have been uh, actually admitted and become an inpatient uh, in those hospitals. Part B is your medical insurance. So now part A, which you would receive if you've worked enough quarters, or if you have not, you can purchase that on a monthly premium. Uh, part B is something that individuals need to enroll into. Um, and we would recommend doing that uh, depending on their circumstances. If they're still working, there might be reason for them not to enroll into Part B at Medicare when they turn 65. But if they're retired, uh, trying to choose, there is a premium associated with Part B of Medicare, uh, which we can touch on later. But it is an extremely valuable, important part to Medicare. So we would highly recommend individuals to enroll into Part B, uh, take that out, uh, and um, to make sure that they're covered. Because again, this now covers all of your medical insurance. So services from doctors, healthcare providers, uh, outpatient care, home health care, durable medical equipment, um, even certain treatments, shots, vaccines, all of that is covered under your Part B of Medicare. Uh, and I think most people are already uh, kind of with the mindset that, hey, when I can and I'm eligible and no longer have other coverage, I'm going to enroll into Part B. And that's extremely important because many of the coverage types that we'll talk about, you would also be required to have Part A and B of Medicare in order to enroll into those. So those are some of the definitions of what specific services are covered. And then Part D, prescription drug coverage, uh, which is actually administered through private insurance companies, kind of like Part C is. Um, so there's a multitude of coverage types out there. And we can, uh, uh, in later sessions, get into details about which plans work best. Um, there's a multitude of plans, coverage types, uh, premiums, formularies. Uh, so all of those are important. And essentially having a good either enrollment tool and platform through your FMO uh, is important and makes your life a lot easier. Uh, or you can go to medicare.gov, of course, and you can run those quotes and comparisons and see uh, what is the best solution because it's not always about premium. In many cases, you're going to want to be more mindful of the actual uh, annual cost between deductibles, costs of uh, the medications, co-pays and so forth. Uh, those are what's most important. Sometimes people are taking some high cost medications and they might need a higher cost Part D that has a more robust formulary to cover those drugs to keep their costs down. Uh, and then there are the different parts of Medicare, which we get into in more advanced trainings uh, for the different sections through the coverage gap and into the catastrophic. And all of those matter uh, as to what recommendation you would make to your client. Um, and really it all depends on their uh, needs and the medications they're taking. Now, the one thing I will uh, put in here, since this is a basic presentation on Medicare uh, tips, you would want to recommend clients of yours who are going into Medicare for the first time, um, if even if they're not taking a prescription drug at that time, you would still want to encourage them to get into a low cost prescription drug plan. Uh, many of those can be you know, under 10, $20. And what it does is it helps those persons to avoid uh, a penalty. If they remain out of a prescription drug plan, after they're eligible and they do not have credible coverage, they will start to be penalized. So later on when they enroll, uh, actually CMS will impose that penalty on their premiums direct to the carrier. The carrier has no choice but to pass the cost along to your clients and they'll have that cost, that added penalty for the rest of their life. So it is important even if they're not taking medications, get in something simple because when they eventually do need the plan, 
and they do need to pay, take those medications and have some coverage for it, um, you're going to want to make sure they're not being penalized on a monthly basis because that could be, of course, much more uh, costly. Now, again, here are a couple nice, just easy to read, easy to understand pieces that we provide in some of our selling kits and uh, that many of our agents use. As a matter of fact, um, we have agents that will just take these two pieces and send them out to their clients for the new year. We do update these numbers each and every year as we get the new uh, deductible copay and cost information from Medicare. But essentially what these two sheets do is just summarize what the two big parts of Medicare are doing for you and not just what they cover, but the actual cost. So what does Medicare pay and what is left over to your client? So as you can see here with both of these A and B, um, and this goes into, and though we're not gonna go into a presentation today, that's for later uh, training, this is one of the tools you'll use because it's not so much about selling. It's really about educating your clients. You know, here's what your benefits are. Here's what Medicare does. But ultimately, here's what you need to be aware is going to cost you and what you're going to be responsible for. So it's important to just use this maybe even line by line, uh, depending on your client and how much detail they want. You can just take them through this whole cost of what is it that you pay? Here's how the uh, part A deductible works, not just a one-time deductible. That's 1484, 371 if you remain. So there's a number of, of important areas that you can point them to. And some of these references actually will take you into supplemental pieces and educational pieces that we provide. Um, so again, we try to come uh, to you with the full selling package, uh, full training to make your life simple. On the Part B side, you'll see, and you, you've probably heard this even if you're not that well-versed in Medicare, Part B is essentially an 80-20. So you meet your Part B deductible, Medicare pays 80%, 20% is left over to your client for approved services. Um, now, when we get a little bit deeper into that, we start to learn about excess charges and some of the other costs that could also be stacked. And if you're going to be presenting this, you're going to want to be well-prepared and understand those yourself but certainly we could train you on more detail. And we actually have some uh, supplemental sheets that give examples of both part A and part B, what your total cost could be. If somebody went into the hospital for an extended period, um, if somebody had some approved medical services done, just an example so your clients can see what those could costs could add up to and what they're responsible for. So again, very basic, very simple but this is easy way to explain the Medicare parts or to even learn for yourself. If you were to read through these, you'd have a pretty good idea of what Medicare covers. Um, you know, you can see even on the Part B side, uh, the benefit, physician services, outpatient medical services. So it really lists for you the majority of things you'll need to know. Now, if you're meeting with your clients and they have some specific conditions, um, they've doctored for some things in the past, Obviously, they're going to want to know how Medicare treats those. That might extend beyond what's included here, but then you can refer to either your Medicare New 2021, which you can download on uh, Medicare.gov, uh, or we could send you a copy, or, or you may just Google into you know search engine, you know those particular conditions, and you'll get some pretty quick answers um, if it goes beyond these forms. Okay. So now we're gonna move a little bit beyond just the parts of Medicare. As you can see, I know some get overwhelmed, uh, especially your clients if Medicare is new to them, uh, even agents say they get overwhelmed, but you can see with just a few minutes here, and we didn't go into much detail, but there's not much to go into. You know, Once you understand the basic components of Medicare, the four parts, what A and B covers, uh, you're, you're pretty well equipped to have a reasonable conversation with your clients. But now you need to understand what coverage options exist beyond just the parts of Medicare. So what we'll do is talk a little bit about supplements first. Now, Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, of course, are the two most popular solutions. Why do agents choose Medicare supplements? Why do clients choose Medicare supplements? Now, I will say that Medicare supplements, it really depends on your client, um, maybe even your personal experience or 
what you've done for the past. We do have agents that have just always sold Medicare supplements and that's kind of where they tend to lean. Um, but here are some of the reasons why people should be looking at these or agents should be selling these. And the first thing is it's really all about your client. It's about what their needs are, what their budget is, what their concerns are. Um, ultimately that has to factor in, even if you have a husband and wife, just because one is appropriate for the husband does not mean that the, uh, the same is appropriate for the spouse. It, it, it could vary and you need to make sure that you're equipped to handle those uh, questions and concerns. Medicare supplements are very popular in some areas. In other areas, they're not very popular. Um, so it really depends on where you're working, where you live, where your clients live, um, that we would be able to diagnose and tell you more about that. Uh, but the nice things about these, and we have some comparison charts for both agents and for consumers, but the nice thing about these is it's very predictable as far as the benefits are concerned. You know, if you put a full coverage plan uh, onto a Medicare Part A and B, uh, you can be assured, your client can be assured that they may not experience very little to no out-of-pocket expenses. You know, that Part B deductible could be covered, the Part A deductible, the 20% could be covered, even excess charges could be covered up to 100%. And what you find is that very quickly, your client doesn't have to budget or worry about anything beyond the, or the monthly premium or annual premium. So that's nice. Uh, there's not networks to be concerned about. So you can go to any doctor, any hospital. Uh, now you wanna make sure those doctors and hospitals accept Medicare assignment uh, or else there could maybe be some additional charges, but ultimately most places do. And it, does, it means you don't have to check whether your specialist takes that particular carrier or is in network, or maybe they're in network as a primary, but not as a specialist. So again, it does free things up, makes it very flexible. If you have clients that travel frequently, might be a good option um, because now they would have additional coverage that they wouldn't have to worry about being in and out of network. Uh, the plan design, the plan benefits are consistent. Uh, I know it's not on here, but they're consistent. So if you're selling a plan F, which you can't so much anymore for those who are now just turning 65, but let's say you're selling a plan G or a plan N, um, they're the same. You know, so whatever carrier you go to, that G or that N, their benefits would be identical. Um, and there are some states uh, that of course work under the standardized, modernized benefits. And then there are some states that fall outside of that. So depending on where you're at, again, we can kind of educate you more specifically on your location, but that's essentially how they're set up. That way you, as well as your clients can take comfort in saying, hey, if I have a G, I know what my benefits are regardless of what carrier I go to. So now I just need to make a choice on a good carrier, uh, one that's stable, uh, doesn't take uh, you know, large rate increases on a frequent basis, and a, a plan that's affordable to get my client into. So those would be some of the key factors, but you have that consistency um, with plan benefits. The other consistency you have is these do not change frequently. So you're not worried from year to year, well, what are my benefits gonna be next year? Is this plan gonna be around next year? What are they gonna put me in? Uh, once you enroll in that, it's guaranteed renewable. And in many cases, we have seen even plans that have been discontinued, people have been grandfathered into those and keep, can keep those plans. So you do take a lot of that guesswork and a lot of concerns and questions out of the mix when it comes to Medicare supplements. So those are some of the key factors when you're working with your clients and talking about these solutions. Another big solution, of course, is Medicare Advantage plans. Now, under Medicare Advantage plans, that's kind of a title. There are a number of plans under the Medicare Advantage banner, um, and you have uh, other uh, options, even in more detail like PPOs, HMOs, POS plans. But essentially, some of the more standard Medicare Advantage plans you'll find under this banner is MA, so that's standalone Medicare Advantage. Then you have MAPD, which is Medicare Advantage prescription drug included. You'll have dual SNP, DSNP, uh, which is essentially for low income. Now, some states do not have these plans. They might have other types of plans, but many states do have uh, what 
is referred to as a DSNP. So it's available to those who have Medicare and Medicaid, um, and even some who are in a spend down or in a um, you know, low income state. So those plans exist. And there's CSNPs, chronic special needs plans. Uh, those are available in some areas by some uh, carriers. And those would cover and have benefits that are more robust in certain areas that maybe that person's concerned with. And there are certain CSNP categories that you can be part of. Then ISNP is institutional, which you probably won't come across these, but institutionals are for essentially people who are um, in a nursing facility uh, full time. Uh, the other benefits and advantages to Medicare Advantage or Part C of Medicare is it does a nice job of just packaging everything together. Um, and because the funding for these have has gone up over the years, carriers have gotten really good because again, these are sold through private insurance companies, whether they be some of the large national carriers that you're familiar with, or maybe even some local and some regional carriers that offer these programs. Um, but these plans are through private insurance companies. So when somebody enrolls in these, they leave their Part A and their B direct to Medicare, and they now put the, uh, uh, that in the hands of the insurance carrier, and they're now responsible for those A and B benefits at minimum. So that is Part C. Medicare Advantage has gotten more robust. The plan designs have gotten better. Uh, the all-inclusive benefits have gotten uh, much better. In many cases, it's very low to zero premium. So that's an important factor. Um, the networks have gotten better, the flexibility, the max out of pockets have come down. So for many, and that's why we see these plans being sold so frequently, a Medicare Advantage has become a huge part uh, of these agents' business. Even ones who have only sold Medicare supplements are now including Medicare Advantage. Uh, so it's a big choice. And if you want to know what carriers uh, are, are being sold in your area or would make sense for your clients, of course, we can help guide you to that. Uh, but it is an all-in-one uh, alternative. So again, you might be able to get your A and B and your even Part D benefits uh, for a zero premium. You might even get some dental coverage, some hearing, some uh, you know number of items, over-the-counter benefits. They're all part of these plans. Now, some of the areas you still have to be concerned about is if someone travels, that plan may not travel with them. Uh, they might be built on more of an HMO chassis. Maybe it even has a limited network capacity. So maybe doctors and hospitals are not in the network that your clients would choose to go to. You have to be mindful of that. These plans are also are on an annual contract with CMS. So each year they have to revisit those benefits. They have to refile those with CMS. Once they get approval, that's what's now available for the following year. So what might work really well this year for your clients might be different next year. So you have to be mindful that this is not something that just stays the same. It is moving. Um, some plans stay, some go, some completely go. And now you and your client have to find additional coverage or new coverage elsewhere. So um, it is based on the counties that they live in. So you know, what's available in one county might not be available in another county, so you need to be mindful of that. And uh, also, depending on the type of plan in the carrier, again, these benefits can differ, um, and they may not always include some of the same extra benefits. But depending on where you work, again, we can guide you through that and help make sure that uh, you're aware of what uh, plans are available. Okay. So what we get, especially in this setting where agents are newer to insurance or newer to Medicare is what is right? You know, what should I as an agent be prepared for? Uh, and what should my clients be sold? And that's a question that there's no real direct answer for. Now, some of the things you might have to keep in mind from a business standpoint is Medicare supplements, you can get appointed with the carrier uh, maybe a, a, a light training and be ready to go. Some, some carriers do require a certification, but most you're contracted, you can sell. Medicare Advantage, there is more to it and there is more upkeep. You do have to get uh, certified, uh, CMS certified. Then you have to get carrier specific certified for those Medicare Advantage plans. 
And in order to remain certified and to receive your commissions and renewal commissions, you have to renew your certification each and every year. And we do see a lot of agents, especially those who maybe they are selling their practice, maybe retiring. It does become more difficult for them to maintain those certifications. So again, even for you from a business standpoint, there are some considerations to make in choosing what to sell. But if this is your full-time thing, we certainly encourage you to be prepared with both. They're both very important solutions to the seniors uh, in this space. But to make some of these comparison solutions, again, here are some pieces that we've created to make that presentation simple. Some of these are for agents uh, training uh, when we do additional and deeper trainings. Um, and some of these are for you to send out brand, maybe send to your clients uh, or maybe to leave behind so that they can see the side by side. Here's what Medicare supplements do. Here's what Medicare Advantage plans do. Which ones are you most comfortable with? So again, some of these tools can help guide you to making a good recommendation. One of the other tools that we include with our agent sales kit, uh, and this is just one of a few fact finders uh, that we have or profile sheets, whatever you'd like to refer to them as, but these are ways that you can collect information on your client. You can run through, ask some questions, make some determinations based on this. Now, if you're prepared and you're comfortable and you use this on site and then to make a presentation, whether it be virtually or face to face, that's great. If you're not comfortable with it yet and you still need some assistance, you fill out this information, contact one of us here at Insurance Advisors Direct. We'll show you our quoting system and tools. We'll walk you through the process and help guide you to making the best recommendation for your clients until you feel comfortable doing that for yourself. So here are some of the tools you can use. Know what questions to ask, know what information we would need, and then we can help guide you to that uh, solution. Now, one of the other options that uh, is a little less known, but uh, I have actually worked with for roughly about 18 years now. Uh, and we actually do a lot of training of independent agents all over the country on this product is what's referred to as group retiree medical or essentially a group Medicare product. Now this one's filed differently. So it's filed under a group retiree medical platform, but uh, it is designed to be a supplement to Medicare parts A and B. So similar to like a standalone supplement with the letter plans, here is a standalone supplement built for the group chassis. So some of you uh, may be in the group space. Maybe you have group clients, whether they be small, medium, or large, or you have clients that are coming to you because they're retiring and leaving their group. You might even consider a solution like this to go back to the group. Once you set that up, now you can have all of those retirees or all of those individuals who move into retirement, and they can automatically be put into this program and you now become their agent. So we won't get into too much detail. As a matter of fact, this is a pretty complex program. Um, if you're not into group, if you understand group, you, you, would, you would get it. Um, but we do full trainings on these. As a matter of fact, I think we did one a couple of weeks ago. So you can find that on our YouTube channel as well. But you do have to have part A and B. Um, we offer a few different programs, but the one we've highlighted here, you can actually go down to one life. Um, so you could even do somebody who is a small company, maybe they're a plumber, they own their own LLC, they're 65 and older, they could sponsor this program, uh, and you could actually write them under this plan, and now they'd be part of a group. And there are some advantages, there's guarantee issue for both them and their spouse, um, there's additional benefits that you can add on and that you'll, uh, you'll receive immediately that go far beyond the letter plans. Uh, very stable rates, very few rate increases on these programs, many years, no rate increases uh, because everyone in the country is pooled under this rate. Um, if you have people who have retired to more costly places, you can set these up in some of the states and areas where again, maybe that corporation or maybe the original corporation is established, which makes their rates based on that area factor. So it's cheaper um, for them if they live in a, again, a high cost area like a Florida, New York, California, something along those lines. But guarantee issue, nationwide coverage, it works just like a supplement. So you don't have to worry about if doctors, specialists are in network 
uh, they're there. Uh, if they accept Medicare, there's optional benefits. There's even comprehensive Part D or with this program, it's EGWIPs, employer group waiver plans is how their Part D is filed. Uh, it's still a credible plan filed with CMS. It's just under a different category or series of plans, but one of their plans actually has no coverage gap. So for people taking high cost medications on a regular basis, they would actually have full coverage. And so uh, it's very unique plan. You can use it in a lot of different settings from nonprofits to churches to uh, private public sector munis municipalities, uh, tribes, um, LLCs, corporations, uh, a whole host of options for putting this program. Even um, you know doctors, insurance agents with their uh, uh, licenses, they can actually sponsor these programs as well. So it could open a lot of doors because we go down to one life. We can uh, we can now play in the TEFRA non-TEFRA space. Uh, that's for even active employees still working past 65. There's some opportunities if you're under 20 lives with an employer. So really cool plan uh, and not many agents know about it, but it would also be potentially a group solution for you, uh, which takes us again a little deeper, a little further beyond your Medicare supplements, Medicare Advantage, like many of us are used to. And if you've wondered uh, about Medicare sales trends. I know we covered this earlier, but sometimes we still get these questions at these points where, hey, this is great. Appreciate you summarizing that. We now know what the parts of Medicare are. We know what some of the solutions are, but is this really a space for us to be in, for us, our agency? Well, that's up to you, of course, uh, but just consider some of this uh, if you're looking at continuing to grow and build your practice. The Medicare space is continuing to grow. It's growing rapidly. It's going to continue get, getting bigger. Um, that, if you're a growing business, seems like a market you would want to be part of. Um, Medicare is a hot topic. Uh, if you do a good job for your clients and you work with people, they're more inclined to refer you to friends, family member. So again, helping you to grow your business. Um, but so much of this is changing and why you need to be equipped with the different plans, Medicare Supplement, Medicare Advantage, is because you know, people are coming from maybe a group plan into retirement. They're confused. I hear from a lot of people. I still you know, will work with some uh, uh, existing clients or family members. And I hear from people all the time, this is really confusing for me. You know, I've never had to worry about my health insurance before. I've always had it through my employer. This is the first time in my life uh, outside of my career I've had to worry about figuring out insurance. So even though we think this is pretty basic, people do have a need for us to come in and educate them, work with them and help them through these solutions. Uh, and if you're a good educator, you're going to do a great job in this industry uh, and you're going to gain a lot of clients and a lot of trust. And if you're selling other products, let's say you're selling annuities or you're selling you know, life insurance or other products, this can be a, a great feeder product for those as well. Because Medicare, uh, you know, those going into Medicare still have other needs. They still buy other insurance. And so certainly once you have their trust, you can now start to, of course, extend those conversations. Um, but a lot of people need help. And it's not just new turning 65. You know, we hear from agents all the time. Well, I just go after the turning 65 market. It's new, it's easy. And that's okay, but there's still a limited number of those people and they're being contacted by all different sources from the insurance carriers, commercials, mailers to other insurance agents, call centers. Um, so again, it can sometimes be more difficult to get in front of those people. But remember, people who are past 65 still have ongoing needs. You know, maybe they haven't heard from their agent. We hear this a lot. Um, maybe they were you know, enrolled in, in a Walmart somewhere and they've moved and they need some additional assistance. Maybe their advisor has retired. Um, maybe their carrier has been experiencing some rate increases or their Medicare Advantage plan. Uh, they haven't looked at the coverage with their agent in some time. And now they've gone through two or three years of changes and they need to revisit those because their health has changed. So there's a lot of reasons why this market, even though the market itself is growing, there's still a lot of movement 
in the market and with people who are already on Medicare who are looking for experts like yourself to assist them. So I would highly encourage you, whatever your background is, whatever you're doing today, to get involved in Medicare. And if you need some additional training and tools, again, that's where a full service FMO like Insurance Advisors Direct is here to assist. Moving into uh, some ideas for marketing. So here's one of the areas and we can spend hours on this, but uh, here we just have a few minutes, but we usually get to a point where agents go, this is great, I wanna get going. I need to learn more, but I, how do I get started? You know, who do I go talk to? Where do I go to find these clients? And that's a question that sometimes uh, there's a lot of answers that could be given. Uh, one of those is what are you doing today? You know, how long have you been in insurance? What are your clients? Uh, what's the makeup of your agency and your client base today? So let's consider, you know, that first. And we see a lot of agents, as I mentioned earlier, that are starting to hear from people that are aging into Medicare or they have friends and family aging into Medicare. They trust you. They don't know where else to go. So they say, hey, uh, Mary, Jim, I'm going into Medicare. What do I do? Um, so again, making sure your clients are aware that you do Medicare and you can help guide them through this is important. So we help agents uh, create marketing, advertising pieces, letters of all sorts, postcards just to be sent to their clients regularly saying, hey, let's sit down and have that conversation. So that's a good place to start your existing clients, or maybe they know people and they can refer you. Um, again, we can help build that out for you. You can do direct mail. Um, you can purchase Turning 65 lists. Uh, we have vendors that we partner with that do internet-driven leads, that do live call-in transfer leads. If you're sitting there, transfer a live person who's interested in Medicare and you take that over. And the day of virtual selling in today's day, it's much easier to do that and people are willing to do that. And we have the systems again in place to help you. Uh, you might find in your community uh, presents other opportunities. Maybe you can partner with other professionals that don't want to get involved with this. Uh, some of the more popular ones we see agents doing is partnering with CPAs. Um, in fact, a lot of uh, our group business, group Medicare actually comes from CPA referrals uh, that they do for, for small companies. Um, we see agents partnering with investment advisors. You know, sometimes these advisors, they don't want to mess with the insurance stuff uh, so what they want to do is bring in an expert that can help them because they realize a lot of their money that people are investing are coming from people who are 65 and older. So they want to attract that client, but they don't want to have to have the Medicare skills. So you might do well to partner with something, someone like that. We see a lot of PNC agents that are willing to partner um, and maybe work out some sort of referral program. Um, or uh, you might be able to go in and work with a few different ones and become their agent. So we see a lot of different strategies and set up amongst these other partners, but consider your local, uh, you know, location and what other people could be influencers to help you. Some of the other things we, we recommend social media, having a good website. Um, we actually help agents build websites. Um, so if you have questions on that, we certainly could be of assistance appointment setting. Uh, so there's really a whole host of places you could go. We actually, now that a lot of these uh, plans are owned by some doctors, uh, hospitals and networks, we actually have agents that will sit in locations, uh, in clinics that are actually having Medicare people come in and they'll sit with the advisor before they actually get their treatment or they'll sit down with the advisor at a, another scheduled time. Um, so we have a whole host of other lead and marketing ideas and opportunities if this is something you need some assistance with. So again, we're just kind of scratching the surface to give you some general Medicare selling and marketing ideas. Uh, and then again, uh, if you need some additional sales tools, here's just a small sampling of a few that we have. Not only do we have the uh, quoting tools that you would have access to, we have full sales and marketing success kits. Uh, we have full marketing materials that can be branded. We have our selling system and our guide. Uh, we have those designed for virtual settings too. If you're doing a screen sharing, Zoom or something along those lines, um, much of this is contained within our website. So uh, if you're an appointed agent and you have access to these tools, 
Uh, and we're also working on some video trainings to do a whole academy around getting you prepared and how to best use these tools uh, that can be so beneficial. So here's just a quick little glimpse at a few of those. And certainly if you have a need or a desire to learn more about those, just contact uh, our company. Well, that brings us really to the conclusion of our basic Medicare 101 training, uh, part one. Uh, what we're going to have coming up in the future trainings on part two is we're going to spend more time presenting those proper solutions. So how do you present a solution? Uh, how do you actually form a presentation and to be effect effective uh, educators? Um, we're going to go through that. You can see some of the uh, layout of that uh, solution or that presentation, dramatization of cost, the benefits, uh, choosing an option, how to fill out an enrollment form. And some of these uh, we might just skim over, but we actually will then diagnose and take more time later. Like, for example, filling out an e-app. You know, that sounds simple, but when you get into it, there's so many different e-app platforms and different carriers have different uh, requirements that we actually then dive down deeper and have specific trainings on each of those. So sometimes if you see this, you go, hey, I really need more help there. Uh, you kind of just mentioned it and moved on. There's good reason for that. Um, and no doubt we have other trainings either that we've done or that we will be doing that will take a deeper dive into those. And then of course, anything you have uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, any questions or needs you have, we would be happy to answer those. So you don't always have to just be sitting on these webinars to get that education. Contact one of our sales advisors, one of our managers, and we can help walk you through those questions and those needs. So here's what's coming up in the future. Keep an eye out in your inbox. We'll be sending out emails, inviting you to uh, those next events. Uh, again, for additional training, um, I would encourage you to go check out our YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube, just type in Insurance Advisors Direct, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notification button. Every time we upload a video, which is sometimes two to three times a week, you'll be notified if the topic is something you're interested in. You know, again, you can watch that at your leisure. Um, also, if you're logging into our website, our uh, website is insurance, or sorry, iadbrokerage.com. Uh, you can go register there for our agent uh, portal. Uh, we have a new one that was just launched. And so we're starting to build out a lot of these core features, uh, trainings and so forth. You can see even a calendar of what's coming up with our future topics. I believe next week on Friday, we're doing some life insurance training. And I believe the Friday after that, we're going to be doing some demonstrations on our new website portal uh, and some of the training and enhancements that have been made to that. Um, and then in between those, I know we have some other scheduled uh, meetings and webinars. We've been doing a whole host of interviews with some of our Medicare Advantage carriers uh, talking with the sales managers and just doing a nice little video between us and them as to why agents are selling their plans, why their plans uh, are you know, so successful in certain markets and why agents should be considering those. So if you have any interest, please check those out. Again, those are all stored on our YouTube channel uh, or on our website. And if you want to get started, if Medicare is new to you and it's something that sounds interesting uh, and you want to pursue please contact us. Here's my information, or you can call uh, this number. If I'm not available, one of our sales managers could be available. Uh, we can help answer those questions and we can help guide you to some carriers. We can help get you appointed with those carriers and get you started on your path to success in the Medicare space. So uh, with that, my part is concluded. Do we have any questions? I know this was fairly basic. It does not look like we have any questions. So with that, and again, I encourage you to contact us by email or phone if you do. Uh, I want to thank you for your time today. I hope you were able to learn some new things uh, that we, you can apply to your practice. And again, we hope that you continue to partner with Insurance Advisors Direct. And with that, uh, again, we thank you for joining us. We look forward to working with you. Please enjoy the rest of your Friday and enjoy your weekends.